okay uh, so up to now we have discussed that uh, when we have we have enter uh, uh, we introduce autonomous systems so uh, we have two types of routing protocol one is called intra autonomous system routing uh, so that is used by the routers to um, within autonomous system so it can be used uh, the distance vector or link state routing protocol can be used and another type of routing protocol it is called enter autonomous system routing it is used for the reachability between autonomous system or among the autonomous system okay so now we are going to discuss the this enter autonomous system routing so the bgp is one of the routing protocol that is used for enter autonomous system routing bgp is called border gateway protocol okay the bgp it uh, has uh, it provides each autonomous system a means number one to obtain subnet reachability information from neighboring autonomous system so this is called ebgp for example you can see in this example for example uh, autonomous system 3 can reach to autonomous to network x so this information will be announced to to c so the gateway it is announcing this information to another gateway and this is done uh, by using the ebgp protocol external bgp protocol and when 2c receives this information that it can reach to autonomous system number 3 and then it can reach to x through autonomous so if when the 2c receive the information the 2c can reach to network x through autonomous system number 3 this information is advertised to all the routers in the its domain by using ibgp protocol okay so the ebgp protocol is used to obtain the subnet reachability information from neighboring autonomous system and ibgp is used that this information that is obtained uh, of the neighboring autonomous system it is propagated the uh, to all the routers in the autonomous system so ibgp is used to propagate the reachability information to all autonomous system internal routers okay now one particular difference between enter autonomous system routing protocol and enter autonomous system routing protocol is that that the best path or the good path is the one which is based on the policy based on the policy okay uh, that is uh, in the link state router protocol or in the distance vector router protocol so we were assuming that the good path or the best path is the one which has the least cost the least distance or which has the least traffic or which is has least congested or which is the more bandwidth but here the good path is one which can be reachable and which can which is allowed as per policy for example the uh, Pakistan and India they have political issues so if the India wants to transfer the goods to Afghanistan through Pakistan so Pakistan doesn't allow it okay so this information is advertised so we will discuss it through an example for example I would like that this autonomous system one it can reach to autonomous system number three through autonomous system number two and through autonomous system number four and five okay but here the autonomous system 2 has a policy that it doesn't route the traffic from autonomous system 1 to autonomous system number 2 it doesn't want to transit the traffic from here to here okay so if it doesn't want so it will it will not advertise the autonomous system 2 will not advertise to autonomous system number 1 that is through this gateway that i can reach to autonomous system number 2 so if an autonomous system does not advertise the autonomous system 3 reachability to 1C then 1C will not come to know that it can reach the 1C can reach autonomous system number 3 through autonomous system number 2 ok so suppose these two uh, uh, autonomous system they allow their traffic the autonomous system 1 traffic to reach to autonomous system number 3 so the then the autonomous system 1 will use this route ok 
so the root is not selected that is the uh, that is at the uh, that is the closest but that root is selected which is allowed as per policy okay so there are two session uh, present so i would like to explain it for example uh, autonomous system number 3 you can see this autonomous uh, uh, 3a gateway it advertise uh, that uh, to this 2c uh, autonomous system 3x what does it mean that uh, network x can be reached through autonomous system number 3 okay so it means that when this information is advertised when autonomous system number 3 gateway router 3a when 3a router it advertise the path autonomous system number 3x to autonomous system 2 gateway router 2c when this 3a it allow it advertise this autonomous system 3x information to tc then what does it mean it means that autonomous system 3 is promising to autonomous system number 2 that autonomous system number 3 will forward datagram toward x so if autonomous system 3 receive the datagram for network x then autonomous system 3 will deliver this datagram to network x okay so this 3a router gateway it advertise this autonomous system 3 x information to 2c using ebgp which one ebgp ebgp mean external gateway gateway protocol ebgp this one this one ebgp is used ebgp means exterior gate exterior gateway gateway protocol okay and i ibgp means internal bgp protocol okay so when this 2c router gateway it receives this information so 2c advertise this information to all its neighbors to all its routers not only neighbors to all its router through ibgp okay so through ibgp it is allowed so basically a path attribute it uh, bgp it contains uh, two attributes one is autonomous system number path one is at, uh, next hop okay what does it mean so we will discuss it in through an example so suppose this 2c receives this information from 3a okay then 2c will advertise this information to all routers so all routers for example 2d will come to know that it can reach the 2d can reach to x through autonomous system through 2c uh, through autonomous system number 3 okay so but if 2d wants to transmit the data to x so it has first to transmit the data to 2c this is the next hop so 2d one will old forward the data to 2c then 2c will forward data to data to autonomous system number 3 and then autonomous system 3 will deliver this data to x so the next hop for 2d is 2c okay so there are uh, two attributes one is the next hop that if 2d wants to transmit the data to x so which router should be selected as a next hop so this is called next hop tc okay and another thing important attribute is that of autonomous system path okay so what does it mean that if 2d wants to reach to x so it has to pass through autonomous system number 3 it has to pass to autonomous system number 3 okay so the when 2c receives this information so this information is passed to all the uh, routers internal routers so all 2d 2a 2b they come to know that they can reach through network x through autonomous system 3 okay similarly when 2a receives this information the 2a pass this information to 1c so you can see that 1c will receive that if 1c wants to transmit data to x the this data has to be passed through autonomous system number 2 autonomous system number 3 so this is the autonomous system path so one c can reach to x after passing through autonomous system 2 then to autonomous system number 3 then it can reach to x so if one c wants to transmit data then it has to first go to next hop 
where this is the next stop okay so when once she receives this information once she will also announce this information to all its router within the network by using ibgp protocol session okay suppose that there are multiple paths there can be multiple paths for example there this is one path and this is another path okay so in this case you can see that uh, the if the path is advertised like this way okay this is one path and another path is also advertised through this path so one c it can reach to network x either through this path or through this path okay so in this path the autonomous system path it consists of autonomous system number 3 and then network x and this path it consists of autonomous system number 2 autonomous system number 3 and network x okay and the next stop for this path is next stop is 3a and for this path the next stop is 2a so if the data is to be forwarded on this path then the data has to be first forwarded to this is the next stop this is the next stop 2a is the next stop and on this path the next stop is 3a okay so if we have multiple paths then which path is selected okay so the path is selected based on the uh, on the different features we will discuss it okay so basically uh, this uh, messages that are exchanged between the routers are when the gateway receives the advertisement from the autonomous system this information is advertised to the rest of the uh, routers so these uh, so the bgp actually have uh, different types of messages so the bgp messages they can be of two uh, four types open update keep alive or notification the open message it is used to open the tcp connection to remove bgp router and authenticate the sending bgp the update this message is used to advertise new path or to withdraw the old path the keep alive message it is used to keep connection alive in the absence of updates and notification is used for reporting the error in the previous messages okay so when when a router it has multiple paths for example in this case okay so how uh, how the forwarding entry is performed okay so first of all we we have noted that the bgp protocol it is used the bgp protocol the bgp protocol is used to provide the reachability information to provide the end the autonomous system reachability information okay for example the this gateway it announces the reachability information of network x to this 2c then 2c announces this information to all its routers then this gateway announces this information to 1c and then 1c advertises it to all the nodes similarly the 3a also advertises this information to the 1c directly then 1c also advertises this information to all the nodes okay so this for this purpose this is the working of enter autonomous system routing the bgp so its working is finished so the bgp or the enter autonomous system routing protocol it provides the reachability information of autonomous system it provides the reachability information of autonomous systems okay this is done now we have another protocol that is called enter autonomous system routing that is used for reachability within the single autonomous system for this purpose we can use enter autonomous system routing so this enter autonomous system routing it can be ospf like it can be link state routing protocol it can be distance vector routing protocol okay so this ospf or this enter autonomous system routing protocol link state or distance vector routing protocol it basically build us the forwarding table to reach from one router to another router within this autonomous system within single autonomous system okay for example 
you can see that at OSPF our link state routing protocol or distance vector routing protocol that is any intra autonomous system routing protocol is used to build up this table that is if one d wants to reach to one c okay or to reach to x destination x so it can reach to destination x through interface number one through interface number one so one d it can reach to x because once he has advertised it to one day okay that it can reach to x from you uh, through one c okay so what is the distance from one d to one c okay so we can see that if you want to reach if one d wants to reach to x so it can reach to x through one c and one c is uh, from one d uh, we can reach to one c by using the link number one okay so this information will be stored here similarly you can see that 1a it can reach to network x through 1c through 1c so if 1a want to reach to uh, 1c then it can uh, it can send the uh, it can use this link this link is the best part okay now if we have multiple paths like a as we have discussed in the previous uh, example like here okay like here here we have multiple paths either this path should be used either this path should be used okay so in case of multiple paths to reach to a network x between interautonomous system okay uh, uh, keep in mind that we have different run, okay so uh, how if if a node want to reach to outside inter autonomous system for example this node 1d it wants to reach to autonomous system number this so either it should use this path or this path so which path should be used if once he wants to send data to uh, uh, to network x so either it should go to this path or, or to this path so which path is selected so in case of multiple paths so the a path is selected based on this criteria local preference value attribute or policy decision can be used or shortest autonomous system path that is that path should be used through which least number of autonomous system are passed for example you can see it's in this example uh, okay in this example if in this example if this path is followed then it passes through one autonomous system if this path is followed then it passes through two autonomous system autonomous system number two and autonomous system number three so the path through which least number of autonomous system are traversed least number of autonomous system are traversed the path that contain lower number of autonomous systems that path is selected as a best path okay for example in this case, okay or we can also select a path that is closest next stop next closest stop routing okay what does it mean so let me explain it you can see that for example uh, the 3a it advertise this routing this information to 2c then 2c advertise this information to all the nodes in the autonomous system similarly the 3a advertise this reachability information to 1c and 1c also advertise it to 2a and then 2a advertise this information to all the nodes so if 2d in this case the 2d receives two paths to x 2d receives two paths toward x one is this path from 2c and one is this path okay so which path should be selected there are multiple paths two paths this path and this path so if the criteria 
of shortest autonomous system path is used shortest autonomous system path so what does it mean okay so this path it contains one autonomous system and this path it contains two autonomous system so which one has minimum number of autonomous system so this one has a minimum autonomous system so this path will be followed okay but if the criteria is used next hop router closest next hop router okay then what does it mean you can see that if 2d wants to use this path then the next stop is 2c and the 2c is it a, the 2c it is at the distance of 263 if this path is used then this path has the next stop 2a and 2a is at the distance of 201 okay so which one is it is less cost 201 or 263 so 201 is less so this one will, will be selected that is the path on which the next hop is closest this next hop is at distance of 201 and this next hop is it it is at the distance of 263 so this one is closest so this path will be followed okay so in case of multiple paths so either we can use the autonomous system path length it the that path will be selected which has the least number of autonomous system for example in this case this one will be selected or that path will be selected which has the next stop closest so here the next stop is 2c and this is at the distance 263 and here the next stop is 2a and this is at the distance of 201 so this is closest so this will be selected okay so this lead can this can lead to hot potato problem why because you can see that uh, if this path is uh, selected uh, this path is selected then this is longer path okay this is the longer path okay now we have discussed that we can also use the policy 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 means that suppose suppose that we have network providers a b c a connects network x x is connected to provider b and c okay so b and c both are connected to network x and y is connected to through network uh, through provider c okay autonomous system c for example a is autonomous system number 1 a is an autonomous system b is an autonomous system and c is autonomous system and they are connected a network w x y okay suppose a advertises path a w to b a w when this path is advertised to b it means that a is willing to transfer the data from b to w similarly a is advertised the path aw to c so it means that a is also willing to move the data from c to w okay now suppose that b choose not to advertise b a w to c b has the route to w through a because a w is advertised by b to uh, by a to b okay so b if b doesn't advertise this reachability information a w to c then c will not come to know that whether c can reach to w through b or not okay so if b does not advertise this information b a w to c then c will not route the traffic to w through b because it is not advertised so this if b doesn't advertise then this enforces the c to not send the packet to b for w similarly c doesn't learn about cba w path similarly if c will route ca w not using so c will uh, if c wants to send the data to w so it it has received this information from a 
so it will send the data to A and then A will deliver the data to W okay similarly if suppose uh, this X it is dual home why because it is connected to provider B and C okay so if C wants to send data to B so it can send data through X as well if B does not advertise then it can uh, and X advertise then X then C can send the data through B okay to W so so the C if C does not so if X does not advertise to C about the B and X does not advertise to B about C then B and C will not come to know that B will not come to know that whether it can reach to C through X or not okay so this is the policy policy to enforce X does not want to route from B to C why X so X will not advertise to be a route to C okay so this way the policy is enforced okay so we have difference between intra autonomous system routing and inter autonomous system routing the intra autonomous system routing like link state routing protocol distance vector routing protocol OSPF or RIP they are based on performance their focus is on performance that is they select the best path based on least cost based on least load based on least congested based on higher bandwidth and the inter autonomous system their focus is on the reachability policy may dominate or or performance for example in the last example the b does not advertise this path to c so c cannot use this path okay because it doesn't want okay similarly the entire autonomous system the admin wants to control over how its traffic should be routed so if want to allow the traffic to be passed then it will advertise the route to other autonomous system otherwise it will not advertise but inter autonomous inter autonomous system routing it is within single domain so if it is within single domain then there is no policy decision needed okay the policy decision needed between inter autonomous system like the policy is to be discussed or to be considered between two countries not within the single country okay so this the hierarchical approach this autonomous system it did this is called hierarchical routing so it saves the table how it saves the table you can uh, note in this example okay that in this example you can note this for example this autonomous system this network x it has 1000 routers 1000 ip addresses but these 1000 IP addresses they will be represented by a single entry autonomous system number 3 so if we have 1000 entries here then its table size will be higher will be very large but these 1000 entry they can be replaced by just one entry autonomous system number 3 ok so this reduce the uh, the traffic the table size ok and it improves the Performance okay, so hierarchical routing table it saves the table size and reduce the updated traffic. Okay, so up to now we have discussed the uh, inter autonomous system routing and inter autonomous system routing and discuss so the per routing per router control plane is discussed in detail and then we will next move toward the SDN control plane in the next video okay